guys played a tremendous game on Saturday, as everybody saw. Came up a few plays short. I would say in a football game, there's a lot of plays. Everybody focuses on certain plays at certain times, but all the way back to the you know first quarter, there were plays that you change when you lose a game by by one point. It, it comes down to that. So really proud of our players you know, for how hard they played, and obviously wish we'd have won. That's the that's the story about it. Just wish we'd have found a way to, to make one more play at any point in the game. Certainly wish I had coached uh, coached those plays better. But uh, proud of our players and looking forward to it. an exciting game against Penn State. A very good opponent. And going over there, obviously, would be an exciting challenge for our football team. And our guys are looking forward to going to work today and getting back at it. Any questions? Coach, Trace McSorley, senior quarterback, hasn't put up the numbers that he has last year, but he's been a much more, he's been a bigger threat as a runner. What uh, is it like facing a guy with the experience that he has, and what kind of things do you see that they've been doing to really kind of help him make plays this year? Uh, great respect for him. He's a tremendous football player. He's When you talk about the quarterback position, he is a winner. He finds a way to win. Um, I think he's done a tremendous job his entire career. Obviously, I've been out of the league for, you know, so watching from watching him from afar, obviously uh, was at Pitt a couple of years ago. So great respect for him as a player, as a leader, as a winner. I think they're doing a great job utilizing his talents. They are running him quite a bit. And, uh, he continues to find a way to get the first down that he needs, find a way to get the touchdown that he needs, and find a way to win the game when they need it. So I think he's a tremendous football player. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Matt, uh, you have been uh, reluctant to talk about the bowl eligibility, but obviously here's the last game, you need to win this one. Is it at all addressed among the team, or do you, do you just figure they can do the math and figure that they need a win to get into a bowl game? Yeah, I, I, I think they, they know where they're at. Again, I think we've lost, uh, we've lost the last two games by a total of three points, so I think you look at our football team, they, you know, to your question, I think the last time we addressed it was going into Indiana when the next win would be six if it was your question or somebody's question. And, and we said, yeah, obviously we all know what, in our game, we know what six wins means. Our players know what six wins means. So they've certainly laid it out there the last two weeks and come up with had two very emotional, tough losses. And they know where they're at. They know how important this game is. But, you know, it's senior day for Penn State. It's their last home game. It's a very important game for them, too. So it's, it's always the same view. Every game is, is the most important game of the season, and it's no different this week. Build off of a loss like that as much as you can <clears throat> off of a win, and, and is it given given what they did and and the feeling after the game? Is there a, is there a way to, to fuel that emotion into another week, or or do you have to separate it? You know, I think probably I don't know if it's going to answer the exact question. You know, the the the, the, the point I would say that, that everybody should be proud of who supports this program and these players is these players weren't satisfied with being close. They wanted to win the game. And uh, so there's nothing to take from it other than we didn't win the football game. And we had chances, not just one chance. We had a lot of chances uh, to make one more play. And I think they know that. I think they all own that from you know, offense to defense to special teams. Everybody looks at key plays and says, that go on that one play to coaching. Um, so I think I do feel good about where we are sticking together. And again, I'll always focus on the players doing that the best. So. I think they're taking that from the game. It was a very good football team, a ranked team, but uh, a game that we could have won, and we're right there. I think we'll build on. We got to find a way to make one more play and win a game. You can't. We've lost two, two games, like I said, by three total points. So we got to we got to get over the hump and win. Uh, I know you're saying that there are many critical plays, but when it does come down to one like that, as a coach, is there anything you do for Pig or for even Jay Sean if he thinks he could have done something different to kind of help them and make sure they're not getting stuck on that last play? Uh, I mean, I think to, to you know, that's the honest answer is what, I, what I've pointed out. I think you can go back and we can look at, you know, a call 
in the first quarter. It didn't work, so it wasn't a very good call. But, you know, in regulation there, we kicked off. They had a very good kickoff return. If that wouldn't happen, they'd had longer to drive. You know, this stop, that stop. I think we, you know, I'm proud of our football players for all doing that. I think, you know, if you, if you were there, you were, I know, but some weren't. Trey, you know, Trey in the press conference immediately said, I could have made two plays that were different. That's what a football team does. Everybody sees the last play. We all know what the last play was. And, and that's part of being the quarterback. Right? Every game, every single game that you win or lose, if you play quarterback and it's a close game, you're going to be talked about in the first couple paragraphs of the article. Either you made a big time play to win the game, or you didn't make a big time play and you lost the game. That's part of it. It's the greatest position in all of sports. So he understands that. He wishes it was different. I wish it was different. But I wish, I'm not going to list them all, but I could, there's a bunch of plays that I wish were different. So it's not, it doesn't fall on that play. It was a big play, but that fall just on that one. To your right, Wayne. Coach, I got a, a quick one on the real question. Does it feel any different as rivalry week or as a rivalry week to us playing Penn State? I guess I don't understand the question. With, with the rivalry for our players? Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I think they're, they're, I can feel an edge. They're excited to play Penn State, and I think there's a difference, a difference in that, in that edge. Sure. Did you see the Sports Illustrated article where uh, the coach of the Kansas City Chiefs gave you props for showing against Clemson when you were the offensive coordinator at Pittsburgh, all the motion stuff, and that Andy Reid has copied that in the Kansas City offense? I didn't see the article. I don't. Like nobody would be very proud. I'm not doing a lot of reading these days. Um, but uh, Coach Reed's awesome. I actually, uh, you know, he's a tremendous man, and obviously he had a tough loss last night. He's a great guy, and certainly been very good to me. So I didn't see it, but uh, he's a great coach, great person. Matt, I think it goes without saying uh, you're proud of the way these guys have performed under these circumstances, regardless of what happens. Um, is that the way some people should look at this? I realize a win would be wonderful, but you know, to come out of this the way you guys did um, is, are you proud of what they've done, regardless of what happened Saturday? Um, I'm proud regardless, but we need to win. You know, I think that's, you know, that, that's ultimately, it's the, these kids have worked very hard, and we need to win the next game. And obviously, like I said, that's not a statement. Penn State needs to win. We all need to win. That's the beauty of every Saturday. Everybody plays, and half of us win, and half of us lose. So, but we need to win. Um, but I'm certainly proud of everything our players have done from how they've stuck together, how they've grieved together, how they leaned on each other. Um, as a staff, I mean, we're very proud of that. Very, very proud of that. But we need to, we need to get over the hump and win. We need to win. We've had too many, too close games. We need to win. Can you talk about the, uh, the growth of your receivers, especially the last two weeks, um, the plays that some of these guys may have not been making, you know, a month ago they seem to be making. And, and, and what has that done in terms of, uh, you know, the offense and, 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 and the way you call the game? Yeah, I think, you know, they've made great plays. We've known, I've, I've talked about it, you know, as we've, as we've asked the questions about the passing game, I think I've talked about how talented I thought our young receivers were in waiting for those guys to have those big moments and those big games and those big plays. Uh, some of it's dictated by, by play call for sure, so we'll put that on me. Some of it has been dictated, you know, a couple games we didn't play well in, and it, you know, the weather did not allow us to really throw the football. And therefore, the wideouts, especially the guys you're referring to, who make those big plays down the field, weren't able to make those plays. So it's a combination of all those things. But they have grown. They've done a tremendous job learning, getting better. And, and I mentioned this Saturday. And there's a lot of talent on the edge in this football program. And those four true freshman wide receivers are very, very good. Chris in the back. Coach, you touched on Trace Pizzoli a little bit earlier, but Penn State as a whole, what do they do well on offense? What do they do well on defense? And ultimately, how do you guys get win number six? Well, offensively, again, it starts with him, but I think they've got a tremendous, you know, a lot of, a lot of good players around him that, that make good plays, and, and they run the football very well. They're, they've got very good talent on the edge who can go up and make plays. We'll see how the weather, the weather sounds like it could be challenging on Saturday, so that may have something to do with, with everything. Um, defensively, I think their front – is really really stout. They create a lot of a lot of havoc, a lot of you know a lot of negative plays. We have to find a way to not let that happen, which will be a tremendous challenge to try to stay on schedule, um, which is which is always what everybody does on offense. You want to stay on schedule, and every defense wants to get you behind the chain. So 
a very typical football game. And I think they're very good. They're a very good football team in all facets. Obviously, well coached, but I think their front, their front on defense is playing at a very, very high level. And again, offensively, he starts with starts with the quarterback, but they're they've got plenty of pieces to, to spread the ball around to. Coach, uh, I left my cameras home on Saturday. Decided to sit in my seats down in section 30, it was 22, 23, with my wife and my, my son and grandson who was going to come in the game, surrounded by Ohio State fans. I felt my job was to sit in that stand and say, this is our house. We all had fun. Everybody, including those salt of the earth people from Ohio State, we had fun. The question is for you, Coach. At any point during that game, did you turn around and look around and say, damn, I'm having fun? I have fun most days. I mean, it was a, it was a fun game. It was an exciting back and forth game. Uh, I had fun until the until it ended. Uh, you know, we were going. Obviously, it was a back and forth game, and even at the end of regulation, we had a chance to to get down and kick a field goal, and I was pretty. I thought we had a shot, and we kind of made a, a couple of mistakes there. So, it was a fun. I enjoy the games, and that's that's the best part about what we do. And I enjoy watching our players have success. So, it was fun right up until right up until the last play. And it wasn't any fun. <laughs> Coach, do you have an update on Ty Johnson and Terrence Davis for uh, this Saturday? Both of them are, are going to try to practice today. We obviously met this morning, and uh, they're both, you know, they're both hopeful. You know, looking like they're going to be able to play, but you know, again, that, you know, with, with where we are, it's week you know, week game twelve, but it's week sixteen or seventeen, whatever it is right now. It's we got a lot of guys beat up and banged up, so I'm not going to promise you anything. But they're both. Hopeful, and we're looking forward to him playing. Injuries aside, um, at that position, given what um, what uh, Anthony has done the last two weeks, does that change the way you look at that position, knowing how how strong he's been, how hot he's been? And do you, you know, sort of ride him for as long as, as you can? We're going to give him the ball some, Don. I mean, I'm not going to not hand it to him. But it doesn't change. We we've been, felt really good about our backs. You go through each game. Leak had the big day and. Why didn't he get to play more? Ty had a big game. You should give it to him more. You know, Fleet's come in there and had some really big physical runs at times, and obviously Ants had two great games. So we understand the, the and Lowe was playing well before he got nicked up, and, and Funk never really got a shot. So um, we got real talent at that position, so it doesn't change our approach. I think that's why we've run the system we've run to have multiple backs on the field, and then we'll continue to do that. Uh -huh. Andy asked my question. Uh, Damn. Gabby and Matt. <laughs> Matt, do you have any questions for yourself? I don't. <laughs> I don't. Gabby in the back. Oh, yeah. Sorry, uh, Rayvon Davis had a couple penalties on at the game Saturday. And he's kind of had been penalty heavy this entire season. Yes. How do you tell someone like that to kind of like chill out? <laughs> right. Well, obviously penalties are. We we we've had too many, and uh, we, we we we've addressed them. We've tried to address them. I've talked about it a couple times. I mean, playing aggressive football, uh, you know, heat of the battle penalties are one thing. No talent penalties are something else. You're referring to kind of heat of the battle, pass interference. We've got to do a better job of, of playing with our feet, and not with our hands. And uh, I know we're working on it. He's working on it. You know, we have them. They pop up. They're all over the, you know, the tape on both sides of the ball, and we just have to minimize those mistakes. And he's, he's working at it. He's doing a great job. We have time for two more. You mentioned it a bit ago with the the final drop in regulation. What was the plan with 36 seconds there, and, and was that sack? I think on second and ten, was that just kind of inexcusable for that situation? Yeah, it was not very good. I won't say inexcusable. Obviously, we ended up gaining pretty good yards on the first down play. We got down there. Um, you know, we had we had used a timeout at the end of regular, you know, with on defense. So we only had one timeout left. We wanted to save that to get the field goal kick. So we went. We we lined up and. Uh, it took a little bit longer than we might have hoped uh, to get that done. I think we were incomplete then, and then we ended up going, and like you said, we're getting sacked. And obviously, once you get sacked there, then you're, and we used our last time out, we were going to try to throw it up. But, but we got, you know, it was, it was good to get down there. And I mean, that again, that's one of those plays we all talk about. This, that's one of those situations where if we would have completed a pass, called a better pass, whatever you want to say, and got it down there to the 28, 30 yard line, then obviously we'd have gone out and tried to kick a field goal. So um, we weren't able to do that. And uh, so we've got to do a better job in those situations. Matt, has this been a fun gig for you? 
And do you think you'll have any emotions uh, come Saturday? Obviously, you don't know what the future will bring, but you do know that that will end your stint as interim coach at, at any point. Uh, it's, you know, to the other question, I mean, football's. And I said, Saturday, I got the greatest job. I mean, I've said that every every year I've been a coach. I and mean, I get to coach football. I get to I come over here and do this for a minute. I go back over, I'll watch film. Guys will come in and I'll talk to them about football or about life or about where they're, when, you know, how their family is. And that's what I get to do. So I, I have fun all the time. There's certainly been challenges, obviously. First and foremost, you know, the loss we had and, and dealing with that has been made the season in some way, you know, that's horrible. That's indescribable. That's something that none of us are ever going to get over. But I've had fun being a coach and, you know, the situation and the role and all that really has just been just kind of do your job where you are at the time. And that's what I've done. That's what we've all done. We've all just stepped up and, and done our job, focused on our players. You mentioned it earlier. We, we're really proud of how our players have played. It just, you know, I wish, wish especially the last two weeks, but, you know, every other week. You know, every other week there's a couple of plays here and there that we didn't win, but the last two weeks, I wish we'd have won. I wish the kids would have had that success. And obviously Saturday, my only focus will be finding a way to win the game, doing the best we can to win the game. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you. Just an update to the open portion of practice.